it's been a while, but we can start off with an intro. Um, I don't even really know how our intro is going to go, but honestly, uh, yeah, yeah, um, go for it. I was just thinking maybe it'd be kind of funny and cute podcast, like um, little, I don't know, um, little like um, ran- sometimes just completely random, like kind of funny tangents about um. I don't know, whatever comes to our heads throughout the week or something, that could be kind of a great way to get people's attention, if nothing else, even if it's like not even completely related to the episode. Yeah, or if it yeah. is. I, I think yeah. like, you know, I think that's definitely um, a good way to start it off, I feel. But, but do you want to go? Because my brain's kind of fried from this week. This whole week has been really fried. Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. I do remember something I've been meaning to tell you for a minute now. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna go. So like, remember I showed you that article that you sh- I showed you to those articles about um, apparently Scorpios are gonna be all up in their feelings. The planet yeah. or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. so literally uh, last week or a few days ago, I had this weird ass dream where I was fighting. Um, okay, so my, me and my mom were, dr- uh, were about to pull out from a parking spot, but this w- white ball guy was in the way and he, we nearly ran him over. And then he was just like, hey, watch where you're going. And I'm just like, hey, you should have watched where you were going actually. So we were going at it and cursing at each other. And my mom was just like, okay, get out the car. And I'm just like, okay. Cause I, and right as I was about to open up the door to like go beat his ass, I woke up and I was so mad. <laughs> because Not your body, you literally <laughs> had one of those dreams where your body reacts, but because your body reacts, you wake up. My <laughs> body was literally reacting though, because like the guy was telling, the guy was yelling at me to get back in your car. And I was, and I literally woke up saying, my mom told me to get out the car. <laughs> I literally woke up speaking and I know I'm like pissed if I wake up speaking oh, hey, damn. I, I hate that you had that dream <laughs> you're so aggressive I can't help it I'm blaming the planets or some shit I don't know which planets to blame probably I don't know Mercury maybe I hear this Mercury. might just be you it's real no, it's not just me it's literally the Kaya. planets I can't help it I'm a Scorpio okay Kaya this is you it's when are you not trying to fight this someone is- <laughs> I don't know any Scorpio who tries to fight as much as you. It's the That's planet. so real. I don't know any other Scorpio <laughs> who tries to fight. <laughs> but the <laughs> thing is that I only have fighting dreams and when I'm stressed. And I'm not really stressed like that right now. So it's literally just the planets, okay? Hmm. You know what's so funny, though? You're actually right. Um, in terms of the, the way that the planets are conjunct right now, our intuition okay. is out of whack. And um, a lot of people get their intuitions through dreams. You know, you wake up and you kind of have a weird feeling about something subconsciously like that. So a lot of people right now are having dreams that they don't really understand. Yeah, see? So it's not my fault. I also, (laughs) I would just like to say for the record that what you literally just did is basically what everyone really hates about astrology and girls who talk about astrology. I can't help that I'm aggressive. I'm a (laughs) Scorpio. Okay. um... Mercury retrograde. Of course I'm going to beat your ass. (laughs) Anyway, it's not my fault. I just want to talk. To be honest, I've had a really weird dream that I remember. I've had a couple of weird dreams too, but one that I really remember. And let me know if this is like Pisces to you, because I kind of don't want it to be. Okay, so like I got a new partner and we went uh, like ice cream to get ice cream on a boardwalk with my family. And it was like, I mean, everything was perfect, except I went to the ice cream truck and the guy had like two choices strawberry and almond and I don't know why that was significant but it was really significant and everyone else got almond but I got strawberry and they got these waffle cones with the huge like you know serving of almond ice cream and I got this little ass cake cone and he put the strawberry in it and only filled up like a third of it like it was barely in there and I was so disappointed and angry but I, I didn't want to be like upset around everyone else who was enjoying their big ass ice creams. And I didn't want to make a fuss either. So I kept going along with it. And then nice. towards the like end of the dream, I fight with my family and like get hot water pulled, poured on me. And that's like kind of it. So okay. I don't know if that's a Pisces dream, but that's definitely <laughs> a Kara dream. 
Yeah. I don't know if I'm speaking for all Pisces or is it, is it just me situation? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say probably 9.5 times out of 10, it's going to be just you. Oh, no. This is something about <laughs> me. You know uh, what? Okay, the beginning yeah. section is just going to be a Kamari astrology assessment section. <laughs> every every single time it's just i really don't fucking know <laughs> uh, yeah. we'll have you try to figure out things wrong with our life and you're just like man i don't know it's <laughs> just, like, it's it's just a new problem i lost my job is it because of the stars no i think it's because <laughs> you were drinking <laughs> during <laughs> All right, y'all. We're, this is our new podcast, our very first episode, Choose Your Fighter. And today we're going to talk about Resident Evil Village, the showcase that came out. Um, it came out, oh, God, God, guys, when did this shit come out? We <laughs> Like last what? month, I think. <laughs> yeah, last About month. two <laughs> weeks ago, How I'd say maybe on the, oh, either the 22nd God. or the 27th. It was sometime towards the last week of last month. It was more like the, it might have been the 21st, but I feel like the 14th. It was mm. a Thursday, so it was probably the 21st. I'll give you that. Yeah, okay. I think. Still like I three weeks. <laughs> 21st. Yeah, still, still pretty bad in my opinion, but you know, better late than never. And it just happens. We were on time. We were on time. That's true. We watched it on time. And mm. I feel like everything I said still kind of stands that they're fucking in love with. <laughs> they're in love with everyone who has the PS5 at this point. Mm. I've even watched, uh, at this point, I've watched everyone who's going to do a playthrough, do a playthrough on it. Mm-hmm. And I have you guys seen that playthrough? Um, I haven't watched any of them because I kind of... <laughs> I have it in my head that I will play it at some point, the demo, even if it means that, like, I'd have to wait until I get a PS5, which will probably be later this year, like, not, like, right now, so, Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know, I don't want to spoil myself too bad. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, I mean, I, you're definitely not, um, you're, you're not getting spoiled on the story, obviously, but yeah, like yeah. you definitely get to figure out a few little cute tidbits and stuff, and it's really cute. And of course, we see the the um, mommy herself, I guess, <laughs> um, Dominescu. What's her name again? Lady Dominescu. Um, um, I think it's D. Uh, Tro. It's D. Tro something. Domin- Dominique. True. Vampire. It is definitely not that. Resident Evil. Oh, De- Demis- Dimitri. Yeah, Dimitri. Yeah. Lady Dimitri. Dimitri. Dimitriscu. Where are you going with that Dama something there? I think we all pronounced it completely different ways. But, you know, that tall ass lady with the huge ass titties who everyone <laughs> wants to fuck and, and stomp and kill them all simultaneously. Yeah. It's are really just wrong? her grand we can't opening. Blame them. Sorry? I said, are we wrong? Can we blame them? I mean, the she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> she's not, she's not ugly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this certainly isn't like the worst character people have wanted to fuck this past uh mm-hmm. pandemic. <laughs> yeah, that's real. I remember when all of those all of those bitches were on that guy from Bander Watch that ugly guy i only know him from midsummer Banderwatch? you mean okay oh bandersnatch it's oh called yeah, yeah. i'll say Banderwatch? yeah i confused bandersnatch and overwatch oh <laughs> which guy are you like is that it's not timothy sharp champagne so which one is that i feel like that is that kind of sounded like his but I thought he was from it, not um Bandersnatch. Let's see. Let's look it up. I'm looking it up right now. Uh no, his name is Will. No, his name is how how did I already forget? 
Will Poulter. Will Poulter. Oh, I don't know who that is at all. He's okay. that he's that guy that's like British, but he plays every single American. But he actually plays yeah. somebody who's British in this in Bandersnatch. No, he actually plays some yeah, he does play somebody who's British in Bandersnatch. I mean it's Black Mirror. But anyway, that was kind of super oh, off topic. Mm. Mm, it's fine. I think I, mean, I also wanted to talk about so we were kind of going over in the last one that we did how we were talking about how in Resident Evil 7 a lot of people were kind of disappointed or not a lot of people right the the people who were at the showcase and commenting on the showcase they were disappointed that there weren't that many good puzzles and it it the game more so focused on the action and the violence. And we were kind of differentiating between, you know, if we're finding a horror game, would we rather have it be a puzzle where you really have to figure it out and you can kind of immerse in that way? Or are you trying to kill anyone and anything in your path with a gun or an AK and, and just shoot your, your way through it? And I feel like we were saying that Kaya is more on the former, I'm more on the latter, and Kara's in between. A little. Um, yeah, I'd probably say now I'm switched more towards puzzle. I guess I do like watching people figure things out even you know, if they don't get it wrong or don't get it right, sorry. It's just like mm -hmm. the personality experiencing it, that's what I'm more into. Oh, cool. And yeah, um, I am still definitely firmly into a um, a puzzle type person. Um, I real I grew up with um, Legend of Zelda, so I kind of mm -hmm. grew up on this um, puzzle solving um, game games essentially. Um, I also really love playing Portal and um, Hey Little Nightmares and several other puzzle games essentially. So yeah, uh, I do enjoy myself a good puzzle um <laughs> even when i was playing half-life um alex and there was this puzzle in the last part i played and i was just like oh i figured it out like that's fun i enjoy that so yeah when i saw the puzzles um a brief even just a brief mention of more puzzles being in resident evil 8 i was just like hell yeah i can't wait so <laughs> yeah i do enjoy that's puzzles good. though yes good. I, I, I don't know if I really hate puzzles. I just feel like I have such a weird, um, I guess a weird perception when it comes to puzzles or some, or a weird opinion when it comes to puzzles. Oh yeah. Like a weird relationship when it comes mm. to, puzzles. I, I feel like, you know, I love card games and card games are just puzzles, right? It's, it's basically math when you really yeah. think about it. A lot of yep. card games are just math and it's fun and nice and I like that. But when suddenly when it just transfers onto a computer or a, a, a PlayStation, um, a console, it's like, why, why? You know, it like, why? I don't know. It's, it's suddenly I'm just like, why am I thinking? <laughs> why am I genuinely <laughs> thinking right now? Um, as opposed to like, and then I'll do a 180 in 30 minutes and be like, I want to play chess, you know? So I feel mm -hmm. like it is just the way that I was kind of brought up. Um, you were talking about kind of what you grew up playing and how that was like a love for um, puzzles. And I remember you really being into Portal, Kaya. And mm -hmm. yeah, I my relationship with games in itself is very very different because games I was even thinking about this the other day like games in my household were always seen as a masculine thing so oh God. I can <laughs> speak volumes about this <laughs> yeah growing so, up with two brothers who would pick on me for a lot of things like I would just really watch them play games but like if I played games with them it'd be like if I didn't get this right, or if I failed on that, I'd be like, oh, you're so dumb. You can't do this. And I'm like, I don't want to play mm -hmm. this shit anyway. I'm going to go watch <laughs> some anime. So that's like, Period. that's how I am. That's how Kara became a jock. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All those sports <laughs> animes and Naruto guys hey. got me into running. But yeah, uh, but, you know, I didn't even have brothers. I, I was, I'm an only child. 
I was an only child. I'm, I'm, you guys are lucky. I've got so yeah. much family. Mm-hmm. I have I have siblings. I just don't live with any of them. I I lucked out. A so I'm basically an only child, but I also have siblings. It's the best of both worlds. Mm, I'm I Hannah suppose. Montana up in this bitch. <laughs> True, you're right. But yeah. but yeah, you know, like my mom, she wouldn't really buy me games. She also had like this weird thing about stationary consoles like she she didn't like me watching tv either like everything had to be portable in order for her to get it for me so I didn't even really start playing games until like the game boy I don't know if it came out but I that that was like the first thing I ever did and I played kingdom hearts and it wasn't really until my teenage years when I was finally able to get a ps three and that's and that's when I was playing like uncharted and stuff and like true you know we were talking about it last week like true blockbuster type games that um essentially just depend on you having an accurate aim and and bravery you know (laughs) yeah triple a games yes yeah right so yeah I I feel like I have to go into puzzles again try to re re I can't even think right now I'm so fried (laughs) I have to like come on help me out help me out restart my relationship with game with puzzles and stuff yes reignite sure why not let's go with that word even like little nightmares I was kind of hesitant to walk into because I knew it was a puzzle game I mean, it's not a deep puzzle game. It's more of a platforming game, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would agree, too, now, having played it. Um, but when it was kind of described to me as this, like, figure it out, puzzle this, puzzle that, I was kind of, <laughs> um, uh, maybe not. Um, um, of course, like, funny. Resident... <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what I was about to say, like, did I say that? Because I feel like I it would have been more like, uh, I would have said it's more of a... Um, it's more of a trial and error type game. Like you definitely are sub- expected to fail at least once or twice before mm. like knowing how to avoid uh, the situation that leads to your death. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it was you. I feel like it was just a lot of people around the time that it came out, like what, 2016 through 2000, even later than that, 2017, right? Something like that, yeah. Twenty. Yeah. I feel like it was might have been 2016. Something like that. 2016, 2017. Something around there. And um, yeah, I th- I think it was just kind of everybody at the time because Little Nightmares, you know, everyone loves that game. So yeah, I've, but you know, I I obviously am into it now. I think it's just you really have to face your fears with with puzzle games or I have to face my fears with puzzle games um yeah and that's gonna make you, you play portal I know yeah portal is gonna be the real the real no, final the boss real battle <laughs> honestly it's not that hard and watch, I'll probably fucking I'll probably fucking love it once I play it but it's it's always yeah. that initial reaction of like ugh, I don't know uh, I have that with a lot of things too outside of games as well like food <laughs> colors clothes you know like basic shit like so it's 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 not surprising that it would show up in this um part of my life either uh and i i did kind of though want to talk about oh so we should actually just go over the plot i completely forgot about the plot yeah focused on that (laughs) That um yeah we're we're back with ethan um winters Yep, Ethan. Uh, what's his last name? Boring. Uh, okay. Yeah, boring. Monotone voice <laughs> ass. <laughs> Typical main character, Ethan Winters, <laughs> has his fucking wife with him who, God, she's forgettable too. Mia. <laughs> but they have a daughter that we've never seen. Um, Because she was just born. She's missing and Ethan has to All find ready. her. Which, I mean, <laughs> uh, so not to victim blame Ethan, but like you married Mia. Are you really surprised that your daughter got kidnapped by a weird 
coven of witches like yeah. we talked about this last time and i absolutely still feel strongly about this i at the end of that game i would not be able to like i wouldn't have a fucking kid with mia because like <laughs> i don't even know who the fuck you work for or like how the fuck we got into the situation in the first place because like he clearly didn't know that she like even we don't exactly know who she worked for at that point right so, because like they didn't even have a chance to have an actual fucking conversation for like basically the entire game so they clearly didn't have time to work shit out at that point point. and after at the end of the game i'd have like trust issues and stuff i'm not even ethan i'm not ethan but even i like have that have trust issues at this point i have trust issues with her so i'm just like how can you have a kid with her did you guys have like a <laughs> hell of a lot of couples counseling or some shit you must have in order to have a whole ass kid with her because i don't know last con- um organization that like ha- makes bio weapons out of kids and shit true and they literally have a fucking daughter as if they obviously just don't want little girls at this point but <laughs> i don't know if i would mistrust or distrust mia i just definitely wouldn't have a kid with her i mean why well <laughs> you probably don't trust her if you wouldn't have a kid with her i, I don't know i mean we could like uh stop buy every friday for coffee or something (laughs) (laughs) that is not a trusting i mean you can do that with anyone you can do that with a casual acquaintance high key i'm talking about oh i'm like i obviously you don't have to trust someone to have a kid with them but it's like you know ideally they're like still fucking married and they have a kid so clearly they're just like yeah we still love each other we trust each other enough to be like yeah you absolutely seem like a great person to have a kid with (laughs) So there must be some level of trust there. And I'm just like, fucking how? I think he's just, I think Ethan is just at a point in his life where he knows he can't go to anyone else. To be ah, honest, you know, no. there's he a can't start over. trauma bonding. <laughs> right. And maybe uh, that's what that is here. They have both had similar traumatic experiences who no one else will understand. Who else can they run to? But the thing is, he wouldn't have been put in that situation if it wasn't for Mia. Like her ass got lost on this weird ass job. Trauma a bonding. A bioweapon. All she volunteered for that shit. He did not volunteer <laughs> for any of this. He thought trauma she was babysitting. He thought she was say. a boring ass babysitter who was d- babysitting some boring ass kids and then oops his wife goes missing for like three years wasn't it so yeah, that's another it was type like of a- <laughs> it was already like you are kind of start resident evil 7 being like damn i kind of would have just sent the divorce papers to this address <laughs> oh you no all- you guys are just such defeatist you know what in that time his flame for her grew brighter he longed for her. He had to find Mia. Yeah, okay. And that's that's the romantic truth of it. There was Eight nothing romantic first. about Because unlike you guys, I'm going to be an optimist. Kara, <laughs> we were playing this game the other day. You said you would not come back for the person you were dating at the time. Okay, but that's a swamp. <laughs> He's in a swamp land in New Orleans. I wouldn't ever be anywhere that, that far down south. But and I mean, another thing, too, going to the south, swamp. If he wasn't in the South, I can see it. I think the swamp is the least of like the situation's problems. How about the bioweapons and Girl. the mold people? And you the- are really underestimating the environment of the swamp. Yeah. Okay. The swamp <laughs> breeds the mold people. They're the reason. That's probably where all of that biohazard shit came from. The swamp of New Orleans. Right. There's now. probably mold people without even the, you know, strange, weird company being there. They probably exactly. just like, oh, hey, oh let's my gosh, really? This. You guys are so bougie. I like took a swamp <laughs> tour last time I was at New Orleans and it was fun. I held a baby gator and everything. And gator all- <laughs> Fucking good. Oh, yeah, that's you. Let's I talk would, about. I would it. Think about gator sausage, okay? There are gators and swamp people and mold people down there. I'm not. <laughs> I hate that the, you the literally called us only bougie, only good. to talk about how your only experience with the swamp was a tourist attraction. Yeah. Well, that's okay. So that was like some obvious. The swamp, I also traveled through marshes when I was in summer camp. Like, I've been places. Yeah, okay. Anywho, yeah. I'm so sure that all three of us would have died if we just had to find regular degular Mia with regular degular child in just a swamp. 
I yeah, if it was just a plane swamp, I'd be like a broad right. body in like five I minutes. So I'd be going under. Right. Mm. <laughs> and and I mean, yeah, I just feel, feel like why why i i don't know i i'm also kind of waiting for at least a wink or a nod that like ethan is at least aware that he's being stupid by still continuing a relationship a family him. dynamic with this woman and i i feel like mia definitely is working for ava wong right that has to be like the connection with who with ava ava wong oh um yeah, oh, I hadn't even thought of that. I thought she was working. I thought like, cause like they had the umbrella symbol and yeah. I'm going to preface this by saying, I honestly don't know much about Resident Evil's lore. Um, honestly, yeah. like, Resident Evil 7 was actually my first game um, mm-hmm. in the franchise. But um, I do know the general basics that there's like this corporation called Umbrella and mm-hmm. um, they're evil and they, they tend to make... Uh, they, they tend to experiment with shit they probably shouldn't experiment with, which is why zombies existed in this world. And that's also probably why a fucking bioweapon that Mia was escor- escorting um, existed today. I mean, not today, but you oh, know. Oh, true. So she probably works for Umbrella, which I don't know Umbrella, the company yeah. that we root for as the good guys, but Ava Wong doesn't work with Umbrella, if I remember correctly. Because I think... I played Resident Evil 6 and 7, I'm pretty right. sure, um, where they, uh, where you switch perspectives between Ava, um, oh my god, I'm really blanking on that poor man's name right now. Probably Chris Redfield or something. Chris? Yeah, Chris, and then, you know, um, my girl Megan, not Megan, but I call her Megan. <laughs> I'd say there's That Megan. white girl, you know. Claire, Claire. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Okay. Claire. So, yeah, Claire? I think you switch between Claire, Chris, and Ava throughout that game. I could be wrong. It's been years since I played it. And that's where you kind of, like, you know, you just explore a little bit more of it through, and you get Ava Wong's perspective way more as well. But I think, at, from what I remember, that organization fights against Umbrella, which is the bad, the bad people. But that's, I, I, I can't remember. Okay, so I heard some spoiler. Speaking of Chris Redfield, there's like kind of going to be some big deal with him coming up. Um, if you see like the cover art, he has like yellow eyes, which is some weird, mysterious shit. And the creators say they have something special planned for him. So like, what are you guys' predictions? Seems like he's going to be like an antagonist. Yeah, he's definitely an antagonistic figure in this um, installment, yeah. which is interesting because, I mean, we only just barely met him. Um, mm-hmm. in the first game, if you ignore the DLC. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. I'm not quite sure what they are going for here, but I don't know if they want to make him infected. I don't know. I mean, but infected with what? That's the thing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It is very interesting. He may be under the influence of something, or he may be working for an organization that's, um, I don't know, um, whose interests are in direct conflict with Ethan just getting his damn kid back. Mm. Who knows? What do you think, Rhea? Uh, I think that I mixed up those characters just now again. Like, mm. embarrassing noob. And I actually was talking about Leon, not not Chris. Leon. Leon, that's the other one. Awesome. Yeah, that's he's the main one. That's really who I was talking about. But um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I just kind of agree. Like, he's going to be an antagonist, but we really won't know what he is able to do until we see it for ourselves. And, mm. and I don't really know predictions. And that's another thing, too. Like, I did see the demo, but I didn't want to spoil myself when it came to the true story arc of what they were going to show us, because I can't help but feel like even though we have been, and that's another thing that we tried to kind of talk about last time but um these are completely new characters this is just a completely different reset of cast except for yeah a a different reset of cast so it's like how does this cast interlink with the last cast that we've essentially spent six games with you know yeah like decades with right so 
it, it, you know, and I wouldn't mind if this was just new, you know, but now that they're bringing in all of these little tidbits and shit, it, it does make me think that they're trying to link the whole series together. But that I think that's just where my mind goes. I really won't know until we see it. Um, so the game is out May 7th. That is a month and 20 days or so uh, before my birthday. Huh? Was it May 7th or May 17th? It's May 7th. Oh, wow. Damn, it's even faster than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. And so it's just, yeah. And we were also talking about that too. You know, like you were saying that that was early. I personally feel like I'm so over games coming out earlier than <laughs> they're expected to come out. Earlier or later? Earlier. Well, you know, because of cyberpunk, but, you know, we'll talk about that. Oh, uh, well, but, <laughs> we, uh, well we say that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But yes, the demo, the demo looked perfect, looked gorgeous. So I just feel like we're dealing with a company who actually worked on the game for as long as they said they did. And yeah, like I, I am just really fucking excited. I'm just not excited to find and then buy a PS5. It was already going to be crazy to buy it. Now we have to just actively find a website selling it or wait until they make more. How does that even work? How do you run out of what? Yeah, I mean, well, they're called what are they called? Poachers, scrap. It's, they're not poachers, but um, they're basically people who like buy a shit ton of them and then like uh sell them for exorbitant um prices, scalpers. even more exorbitant than the um, scalpers. Yeah, scalpers. That's the word. And um, you know, they sell them for an exorbitant fee, even more exorbitant than what it's already cost. So yeah, that's ma the main problem. One of the main problems for why it's so hard to get a PS5 right now. But I mean, we can get it for the PS4 or even like pc and just uh although i don't i don't know i don't know um, you might want to get it for the ps4 um and then it yeah. will come with a free update at least so that's probably what i'm gonna do because i didn't have any intentions to buy a ps5 this early this year so i'm gonna wait till like later in the year because i was thinking uh going back to the release date i was expecting the game to come out um closer to fall Honestly, like this definitely felt like a um, court, a third quarter uh, fall type release, you know. Uh, but uh, nope, they, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they're just like, nah, fuck that. This is coming. This shit's coming out in the spring, and you will buy it. Mm -hmm. I just like, oop, period. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally just what you said. I'm, I'm looking up the prices for a PS5. You could get. Mm -hmm. You could get one at this shady, scummy site that I've never seen ever before in my life called StockX for $705. I mean, StockX, for all I know, it could really be like someplace legit, right? But I've never heard of it. Therefore, I would be right. And you just, I, I don't know. And then you can get it on eBay for a thousand bucks. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at in terms of the PS5 right now. And I think it's kind of important for us to talk a little bit about the pricing of consoles and even, you know, Resident Evil obviously giving priority to people who can afford this game, i.e., um, let's be honest, gamer influencers, you know? And, you know, that's even no shade. That's what we're trying to be, right? But it's like, uh, we maybe we should talk about the financial hurdles that set us back because we're not rich <laughs> or influential yet yeah mm -hmm. but i mean you know like even you know i guess you could say that it's really for the influencers but it's it's realistically it's really just for people who can afford it and and just people who are rich and and an exclusive type of group and you know i i hate to be the hater who's hating from outside of the club but uh, if the club is systematic, maybe we should make it aware, you know, or we should be aware of that. Don't or, worry, you know, or am I thinking too deep into it? Definitely let me know if, if I'm just like, you know. 
Yeah, I mean, there is something to be said for um, making this demo, um, which they could easily have available for everyone. And who knows, yeah. maybe they will have it available for everyone closer to the actual release date of the game. Mm -hmm. I do remember um, Little Nightmares 2 demo was only given out to um, uh, influencers uh, for a minute, um, like last year around... Um, when was it? It was like um not it was like um it came out like in the summer or something, and then they mm -hmm. released it for everyone closer to Halloween. So they might do something like that, you know, like um yeah. release it for influencers now, and then um oh yeah, everyone can have it um a week before the actual release date. But yeah, there is definitely something to be said for how um influencers who also again tend to have more money than like your regular regular person like you and me gets the um can um get access to what will essentially become better content for them to make more money and gather more influence because that's what that is as well i mean you get an exclusive oh uh, an exclusive demo that like no one else can really get at this point more oh yeah people can have access to at this point so people more people are going to watch your um your let's plays your streams your whatever's than um you know than if like everyone already had access to this um you know at the same time essentially mm -hmm. so i mean i know that's why important. i was watching the demo you know what i mean right i if i could have loaded it onto my ps4 i would have been trying to make a video of it you know and i mean it's like i'm not trying to say boohoo no, no fair no fair mm -hmm. but it is just a little it is just a little it, it's it, it's something that I feel like deserves to be mentioned, at least acknowledged. Like it is a little interesting, a, a side eye, I guess, that you you could have like, of course they could have just made this game for the PS4, but because they made the PS5 a priority, it's like or next gen consoles priority. It it is just a little bit of an eye roll from me, a person who didn't necessarily expect to buy a, another grand council. I mean, literally a grand, you know, it was 900 something before tax and everything. You know, I wasn't, no one's trying to really drop that type of money. Nobody can really drop that type of money unless they're of a certain tier. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, it's not like actually $900, like on a base level, it's supposed to be like 500, right? Or even like 400 something. Oh yeah, it's definitely supposed to be. It was. It's supposed to be the same price that the PS fucking four was, but because yeah, you can't so find it, grand, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that's still a lot of money, but right. it's definitely more affordable. <laughs> but but you know, because it it's like what you guys were just saying, scoffers, because it's so exclusive, they can just up the price to something ridiculous, and somebody's gonna buy it. Someone's gonna buy it for yeah. nine hundred bucks. Not me, but someone. Yeah, someone will. Is there anything else y'all wanted to talk about before I kind of give my last thoughts? Hmm. Uh, eh. No, I don't think so. I'm not for mm -hmm. me, at least. Yeah, I guess I the last remark, um, it's pretty interesting to see this new location, and I can't wait to see more of the village. So apparently, Ethan and Mia have uh, moved to a Eastern European town, a small Eastern European village, and mm -hmm. that's going to be way different than being in the States, so I want to oh, see man. how they're going to play up to this. Uh, and that's another thing. He moved to a whole ass another yeah, he country moved to a whole with this woman. Country. Oh, Yo, he loves this bitch. Why? And to be honest, <laughs> if it's supposed to be Eastern European, I definitely can't, like, I was looking at their outfits and listening to how they speak, and you definitely can't pick that up. So I don't know if they're trying to hide that or just that's just sloppy work on their part. But I mean, it's still coming out, so we'll see. We'll see. Not Got to victim not, blame not, Ethan, not. but he's a dumb bitch. <laughs> he's a You're dumb not. bitch. <laughs> no, be real with me. Be real with me. This is a real question I have. A serious yeah. question. Did Mia inject the bioweapon into her? And that's what makes Ethan shut sick. up. <laughs> anyway, this is a serious, this is a serious I'm just question. Asking closing questions. remarks. <laughs> anyway, closing I can remarks. Move to Rhea. an entire different 
do you even know the laws? Do they even know the laws in this random Eastern European town? They probably yeah, do not. not. That's why the whole village is happening. Law. Like, yeah, lack like, of Ethan's law. Ethan's a dumb fucking bitch. He moved to a whole ass different country. <laughs> not even a, oh, I was about to say, not even a normal country. Not even a regular degular country Americans would want to move to, like I England think... or France. He I don't even fucking... think this country, this little village doesn't have a place. It's just Eastern European village. Like, right. they probably know which one. Have Wi-Fi in that shit. <laughs> They probably don't even have actual fucking Wi-Fi. And he's like moving there with this woman he barely even knows. Let's be fucking real. Because he didn't even know her profession. If you don't know the person you're dating or married to's profession, then you really don't know them, honestly. That's real. That's real. (laughs) Yeah. So, gosh, really? Ah, Sorry. I'm just, (laughs) I'm really in my feelings about this. Like, why would you, like, moving, and moving is such a big deal, okay? Like, I mean, as someone who's, like, moved a couple times recent, um, in a few, over the past few years, like, it's it's literally one of the most stressful things you can do other than lose a family member to death. Um, Mm. And it's like, <laughs> that, that's like literally a statistic. And you're like uprooting your entire life, not even just to another state, to a whole ass different country <sighs> for a woman you really barely know. And you had a kid with her. Now you're stuck with her. You're going to have to at least pay her child support. <laughs> <laughs> the least of his worries, sis. <laughs> <laughs> is the least of his worries right now first of all he gotta find the bitch <laughs> right and then, then. his kid gets kidnapped because oh surprise surprise mia may also have been maybe what if that what if the vampire bitch is her like mom or some shit does he know who mia's parents are may, what if this coven ah. she's like a part of a coven huh Ah, maybe. I'm, probably one of the I'm actually maybe very glad you brought that up very organically because my last point was actually going to be um in the trailer if you guys have seen the trailer Mia tells this um fable to Ethan about a daughter who goes further into the woods than the mother in order it, it, with determination to find I guess berries or something but mm-hmm. You know, to me, the whole foreshadowing, the whole parallel, the whole metaphor, simile, analogy, whatever have you, is that, you know, the daughter is a step over. Uh, what's her what was her name in the e- Evie? E- e- Evelyn, yeah, Evie. Evelyn, Evelyn, yeah. Evelyn. So she might. So because you're right. So because Mia also has that fucking bioweapon in her they could have given birth to a mega bioweapon. You know how in most uh, media, if even if the person's powers were man-made, if they have a kid, they suddenly become like an organic form of magic uh, because they were born from this man-made magic. So it's even more powerful. I'm thinking specifically of uh, the boys. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen the boys, but... Their superpowers are basically government made, man made, meaning that they weren't born magically randomly with these powers. But mm-hmm. the Captain America guy, his name's not that, but he's supposed to be Captain America. He has a son. And for the whole second season, they wuss you out basically, thinking that because these were man made powers, his kid is just a regular kid. However, you find out that he actually does have powers because he was born from Captain America's um, stand-in. So it's like Mm. they're more powerful because they're truly organic. So Mm. I I say all of that to say that their child could be Evelyn times a thousand because the bioweapon could be organically in her or what have you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, that might be exactly why the coven wants her. And you know, Ethan, you could have avoided this if you just stopped fucking Not me fucking. up. If you just <laughs> wrapped it up. <laughs> Literally. You I'm not that's what I'm saying. Like after coffee, he definitely could have hit it once or twice. I'm not saying that he had to actively avoid Mia. I'm just saying maybe having a kid with her wasn't the best idea. But for all we know. Mia, like I said, Mia could, could have injected that bioweapon into her and Ethan just couldn't handle it. 
Ethan couldn't handle the power. Listen, I would have just like been like, okay, so I want a divorce because you nearly got me killed several times over trying to rescue your ass. So uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it says something about me personally. But there's a DLC out there somewhere where you have to press X or some shit <laughs> in order to resist the power. Shut up. X to pull out. I'm telling you. Ah, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> it's the hidden DLC. You have to figure out, yo, you have to figure out the, the new demo out in a certain amount of time and then you get the DLC that's a prequel to how Ethan and Mia had a daughter. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Yeah, I mean, well, what's done is done. He has a kid now, so he has to at least pay child support, you know, if he can find her again. <laughs> so can, maybe that's one of the bonuses of having like the bio weapon in you. It's like you don't have to, you're not technically a kid, you're a monster, so you don't have to pay child support on that bitch. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> a loophole yeah let's bring that up in court and, that's uh, what i'd do if i were ethan because but i don't know what i'd do if i were ethan because you're right he is a dumbass i feel yeah. like what i just said is kind of smart bitch energy and i feel like ethan does not have that within him yeah no he doesn't have smart bitch energy he has dumb bitch energy definitely <laughs> for sure <laughs> oh my god uh, ethan 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 i don't even dislike him i'm just like oof man you dumb <laughs> you dumb insane. poor ethan i don't even hate him he's not it's not like he ever says anything weird or gross or anything that makes me hate his personality he's yeah i mean he's too bland to be hateable but, yeah no. true <laughs> but he just makes dumbass decisions like right. if your wife sent you a video i'd turn that shit off i would not go to new orleans I would not go to New Orleans to Not even him. New Orleans. Like, New Orleans is fun. He was in some other part of Louisiana. That's the thing. Oh, you know what? You're right. That's true. Right. This is the backwater. This ain't no Bourbon Street. <laughs> Yo, if I was Ethan, <laughs> you try to find your your wife during Mardi Gras. Mm. And once Mardi Gras is <laughs> over, you're like, oh, no, I couldn't find her. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I gotta go back to where I'm from. I guess she's dead, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I tried my hardest. Uh, oh right. boy. <laughs> I don't I don't really know if there's anything else that I personally have to say except for Lady Domescu is the shit. Uh, I hope y'all I, I hope she stomps you. on your dicks the way y'all want her to. Uh-huh. And, and my heart. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Kara, Kara doesn't want Kara doesn't want her to step on her dick. Kara wants her to step on her heart. My heart. Aww. How sweet. <laughs> oh, I also just looking through the notes real quick. I we also kind of commented on the multiplayer that they're doing um for the game. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, but we we you know that's yeah, not really what we want. Cute. I don't even like Last of Us multiplayer i don't i i just don't like when story-based games try to do multiplayer shit leave it to the multiplayer games i mean it's completely separate from like the main story so i don't mind but it's probably not something i'm gonna play i mean yeah. it's cute though that's cute i like how it has different characters from the different games it even has jack as a uh character so that's oh. cute yeah yeah that is cute well you know you guys this was choose your fighter uh we don't have an outro yet uh does someone make up something really fast okay the tall vampire lady is nine feet tall it has been confirmed that was nine <laughs> feet and a half tall okay that's even better it has been well, confirmed i don't know i don't know she's like super tall she's taller than thanos that 9. 6. Fact. that's good yeah, so she is nine and a half tall yep she's yeah. taller than thanos and like i'm i'm happy for her good for her yeah <laughs> don't forget to introduce yourselves or outroduce yourselves oh this oh, has yeah, been outro. Uh, yeah uh, outroduce uh this has been your girl ria follow me Cutting at burning star 141 on twitch and twitter i'm marbled water on uh, instagram and uh fucking twitter 
Yeah. And the truth of the matter is, is that if you're listening to this, you probably already know where to find me. But y'all, bye. Uh, Later. What kind of influencer are you? You suck. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're, we ain't going to make it. Find me yourself, bitches. <laughs> <laughs>